Jaime, has anyone told you that you look like Xavi Hernandez? No, but then that would mean he's a very good looking guy. Pocket now nightly, and I should probably consider that name. Jaime, I dare you to do the Harlem Shake, and does that mean that I could dare you to dance that song from LMFAO? That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. Monday was about voicemail, oddly. Apple has this very weird patent where they want to transcribe voicemail through Siri, and I asked you if you still care about the service. We had 487 comments. We start with one that says, what is voicemail? And I have to agree, I don't know either. Voicemail, what is this, 2001? And yeah, I can remember the last time that I actually visited my inbox. There are still some situations where you need to leave a voicemail, but no reason to really receive one unless your grandma is calling. And that's the thing, voicemail can be much more practical to certain people. So it does make sense for Apple to try to figure something out, even if the receiver won't really care. On Tuesday, we landed some very interesting leaked photos of the Galaxy Note 5, and I asked you if you would wait for this phone or grab the Note 4 or keep the Note 4. We had 950 comments. Thanks a lot, guys. We start with, no, I'll wait for the Note 6. Samsung might learn from its previous mistakes with the S6 and N5. And uh, yeah, it could be the case, but uh, the phones are selling, so who knows? We'll see how this one performs in the end since it was already announced. As a Note 4 owner, the only reason I would get the Note 5 is if the software is more fluent and toned down and true. That is the only reason why I would leave the Note Edge, because the software on that phone sucks. And uh, Samsung has done a good job, so we'll see once I give it a try. As much as I hate to say it, I bet the Galaxy Note 5 is just an S6, S6 Edge. No expandability and no removable battery. It just seems too obvious at this point in my opinion. And uh, it ended up being that way, which is very sad. It disappoints because this was the no holds bar expandable smartphone powerhouse. And uh, now it turned out to be a very cute phone. And that was it. Wednesday, the news were about Apple Music. I asked you if exclusive albums and deals would steer you to Apple Music since the new Dr. Dre album is exclusive to Apple Music. And well, we had 461 comments. We start with the short answer, no, the long answer, no, and there were a ton of likes. So I guess everybody says no. No, it just makes him look like a sellout. And uh, well, he kind of is, he's an Apple employee now, but I do get your point. And it would make another point for other artists. They would pretty much just sell out to a purpose and limit the availability of their product to other users, which is bad. Music is also a business. Why would artists release an album just for a few million people when they can get 10 times more exposure by releasing it to everyone. Well, it is a business and these deals are not exclusive for just anything. They're exclusive for money. So obviously artists look for the cost of opportunity and find a way to get that money from Apple. So it does make sense for artists to do it. It's just really sad as back in the day, there was no such thing as, oh, the CD is only available here and that's bad. Thursday was about the Gear A and the probable tablet that were supposed to happen at Unpacked. In the end, neither of both happened. But I asked you, which one would you want to be announced at this event? We had 358 comments, out of which one of them says, honestly, I don't care. I just want that Note 5, and that's pretty much what we got. The Gear A, of course, since the current available smartwatches don't provide a lot, and there is a lot of promise with the smartwatch. We ended up getting a teaser in the end, and even though it looks horrible, it looks really functional. So, hey, we could be in for a surprise at IFA. I will take a Samsung tablet over a Galaxy Gear offering. Just not convinced that a smartwatch is all that useful yet. And uh, it depends on the smartwatch. Gear smartwatches aren't really that bad, particularly the Tizen models. They're a lot more functional than Android Wear, for example. And I am expecting a lot from this Gear S2, again, even though it looks uglier than dirt. Finally, on Friday, the sad news were about HTC's job cuts, and I asked you, what would you recommend that the company should do for it to return to its limelight? We had 883 comments. Thanks a lot, guys. We start with, make a deal with Microsoft so they can promote the next HTC flagship as a Windows 10 unit. Windows is in need of flagships. Yes, Windows is in need of flagships, but that didn't work all well for Nokia. And it didn't work well for HTC in the past. You have to remember, HTC was one of the first OEMs for Windows Mobile. And uh, with the whole iPhone thing, things just fell off. It makes sense for HTC to move to Android. 
it just isn't getting the popularity that it was looking for. They need a bigger change than what was brought with the 1M8 and 1M9. You can't make spec changes to a device and call it new. Yes, you can. Companies have succeeded with this. Samsung, Apple have done so. The problem is that there aren't things that are great about HTC smartphones like the camera. And that's weird. HTC had great cameras in the past. We don't know what's going on here. Uh, so again, it just needs to be more reliable. One, number two, it just needs to have more publicity and have more availability. Just destroy all the lines and then recreate new product lines that have a logical name to signify low, mid and high end and figure out your camera. Yes. There are a ton of HTC smartphones that just dilute the whole concept of the one smartphone that is great. Uh, and these other mid-tiered smartphones aren't really bad, so that does dilute the branding. It's happened to Samsung as well. I feel that HTC should stick to their 1M8, 1M9, 1M10, but then again, make those phones really great and publicize them again. I feel that HTC smartphones are amazing. I've been a really big fan since the old days from Compaq when HTC was just an ODM. And I really do wish for HTC to regain its popularity in the end. That's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.